RubyMine provides many helpful features for coding with Ruby on Rails. It makes it easy to navigate around your files. For example, if you're on the controller, you could click next to an action to be brought to the relevant view. And then if you're in the view, you could get back to the controller also by clicking on an arrow. To navigate to any file, you could press Command-Shift-N, and you could quickly type in the name of a file and be brought to it. You could also press Shift twice, and then you could quickly search for both file names and methods. To view documentation for a Rails method or a gem method, you could click on it, then you could click View Quick Documentation. And as with basically everything in RubyMind, there's shortcuts that come with it, and you could also create your own shortcuts. And this lets you view the actual documentation very quickly. Even though Ruby is not a compiled language, RubyMind is still able to detect many kinds of errors. So let's say you left out an end somewhere, and you're going to continue coding. RubyMind is going to highlight the file in red, and it'll detect that there's something wrong, and you could go and fix your error. RubyMind also helps you with refactoring. Let's say you wanted to change the name of your product variable over here in the controller. For some reason, you wanted to change it to prod. So RubyMind provides features where you click on it, refactor, rename, refactor, and now it's actually going to find the locations that are relevant that are the actual instances of this variable. And you click on it, and it will not only have changed the variable here, but it will have changed it in the relevant view file as well. RubyMine also provides various tools to help with your coding. For example, let's say you want to view the git history of a file. You can click on the toolbar on the git history button, and then you could go and click on any of these things to see the actual differences that happened each time. If you wanted to browse your data, you could click on the database, and you could go to open up your products table, and you could look at the actual data or even change it. You can also run the Rails console from within RubyMine. This is similar to the console you run from your terminal, but RubyMine provides some features such as syntax coloring that make it a little more user friendly. So once it loads, you could run any commands that you would usually, but you could also use their code completion, and it returns the results just like in the ordinary console.